they stand, I guess I'm going to get sued over that uh, Chipman Tipton comment I made. So. For my next impression, this is my impression of a lawyer reviewing his briefs. Never mind. Well, while Manuel was up here, oh, are you training mics? Everything on. Okay. Is this louder? Yes. It is louder. No, it's not. Liar, liar, hair's on fire. It's okay. Well, while Manuel was up here, I spoke to a couple, and they're, uh, they're trying to come out and have a good time tonight because they've had a, a real rough week in the, in the family sense of things. And I, I can't relate in some ways. I, I have no children, but they're having a real tough time at home. What do you do? So here's their situation. I'll bounce it off you. They got a 13-year-old boy, and the mom is going through the bedroom the other day, and she finds a dirty magazine tucked in the mattress. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a nasty one. Oh, yeah. it's a good one. Yep, it's, uh, well, it's bondage. It's, uh, it's domination, it's submission, it's whips and chains and leather, and she's looking at me, and she says, what do I do? What do I do? Now, tell me if I'm wrong, my advice is don't spank them. Sound like the right idea? And we want to bring up our next comedian. He has been uh, all over the country doing shows and has been here a number of times soon. We're lucky to have him when he's back in the area. Spending some time out in Los Angeles performing at places like the Comedy Shop and the Comedy Store. Make him welcome. The little guy, Rob Porter. How y'all doing tonight? You know what I'm saying? It's good to be back in Manitoukie. You didn't know I was going to be a black man. It was a white dude. Out of Los Angeles, they call me Brian Gilbert. See, in the wintertime, I'm white, white. They think I'm Armenian. I start tanning, they think I'm Hispanic. By the time the summer rolls around, they'll even be going, dude, what the fuck out of you? But this voice is the fun one to break out when I'm playing basketball with them. Yes, she big black stallion, just slam that ass on me. <laughs> Sam, I'll play ball with you. You go across the court. I'm going back up to Frisco, baby. Vegas, y'all back up to Vegas. I don't back up anywhere in Frisco, motherfucker. Uh-uh. I don't lie, I was gangbang I raped in Frisco. My psycho ex are walking along hand in hand. Six dudes around the mailbox. They stop talking. They start looking at us. We know they ain't looking at her. <laughs> Ladies, I want to apologize for anything a man has ever said to you. I know how you feel passing a construction zone. I felt used, abused, violated, degraded, raped. I sat in my shower for three days crying. I couldn't get clean. I didn't come here to talk to you about that shit, though. I got an iPod commercial that I want them to do for the Super Bowl. And if they do this for the Super Bowl, it'll be the greatest fucking commercial of the year. They show the outside of the big brick church. These, everything's decorated, the doors are open, the lid's up front. And you hear the wedding march. They show the inside from the balcony, the pews are filled, everybody's in their places, the father and the bride are walking up the aisle, you hear the wedding march. Then they show split screen, mom and the groom, mom and the bride. Each of them have their iPods in, listening to Cats in the Cradle. Some about their babies growing up, leaving the nest and moving on to cry. They show the father of the bride, he's got Pink Floyd's money. Who do you think they're paying for the fucking thing? <laughs> they show the bride, she's got Bitch by Meredith Brooks. A song about women being in power and taking control and just making some fucking ass. And she's got a big old shitting grin on her face. Then they look at the groom. He doesn't hear the wedding march, he hears the Imperial Death March from Star Wars. <laughs> Turns and looks at his best man, who's like, dude, you can do it, gives him that big old thumbs up. He turns and looks back and the bride comes in the only son of the bride, it's Darth Vader. There's three stormtroopers behind her holding flowers like bridesmaids. You hear the sound of the lightsaber come up, and instead of a lightsaber, it comes up in the shape of a bouquet of roses. She looks at the groom and goes, who's your daddy now? He looks at his best man, and she starts scrolling through his iPod, ACDC, Highway to Hell. 
people will lose their minds. For the YouTube version, I know it'll never make it to NBC, but for the YouTube version, I want a priest dancing like Michael Jackson while singing Beat It. <laughs> that is so appropriate. But really, you, you look at our country, we're watching the death of the empire through suicide by stupidity. And it really has started with our leadership. Our leadership is failing us. They're going down the shitter. And it started with the death of Kennedy. He was our last true great leader, wasn't he? Yes. You look at all the other presidents after him, there's always something fucked up with these guys. Johnson was that crazy uncle that you really didn't trust alone with the kids and you weren't quite sure if he was all there. The guy you could see running down the street in his underwear screaming for his medication. Nixon was the crook. The guy had a mug shot. How do we not see this shit coming? The guy had a mug shot you expect seeing hanging in the post office. You put a raccoon mask on him, he's the hamburger's long lost twin. And, all right, Ronald McDonald, real quick. Didn't we figure this out? He's a clown that hangs out with little kids and his best friend's a fucking convict? How do we not see anything wrong with this? Grimace is a child molester. He molested Barney. I saw it in an old Jerry Springer. Baby Bob was on talking about how Barney used to beat se se uh, sexually assault before she used drugs. Barney blamed it because his uncle Grimace touched his wiener back in 1978 at the pool. And then Baby Bob danced topless around the stripper pole while Barney and Grimace battled it out like two gay, gay oiled up sumo wrestlers. It was a very enlightening episode. Changed my life. Anyways, back to the presidents. Ford was like that backup quarterback. You shut them in for the last two quarters, going, look, don't fuck up, all right? Just get us through. Hey, Carter, a very loving, kind, intellectual, caring, sweet man. A guy you can see running a general store here in Mansatucky. Just not the guy you want in the fucking country. You don't give the car keys to a Ferrari to a guy driving a, you know, 1987 Yugo. Then we had Reagan. It was one of two things, either the greatest actor to ever walk on the face of the earth, or he was completely insane and had no clue what the fuck was going on. We stuck Bush in because he was that whiny little brother, the reign of King George I. That whiny little brother that just shut him in office just to shut him the fuck up. And then, of course, we had my favorite guy. That's <laughs> right, I'm back. The pervert. People were pissed off. You guys were pissed off about the fact I got a blowjob, just who I got it from. <laughs> When Kennedy was fucking Marilyn Monroe, you guys were like, nice job, all right. Came to her, you're going, put a cowbell on that bitch, would you please? Uh, I'm all for that political. How do you think Chelsea was conceived? I had to get high. And can you blame me? I could not have had sexual relations with Monica, by the way. See, I affect two marriages. I'm a flaming homosexual. You have something as dog ugly as Chelsea, you don't want to do anything heterosexual again. She popped up, kissed Hillary in the forehead, said, My God, baby girl, we just had a Springer Spaniel. I'm thinking about doing an album of love songs. That's right, I'll want your sex, baby. Oh, baby, you and me and uh, this box of Cubans right over here. I'm going to do a video cover of Lords of Acid and want to see your pussy. Three chicks dressed like Monica in the background doing that Robert Palmer chick dance from the Mady's videos. I got a giant hairy cat in my hand. That's right, I want to see your pussy. Everybody says it's nice. Can I come and visit? I'll be at your house tonight. That's right, baby. I got a cigar with your name all over it. Why don't you step in the oral office here? We had a time of fun. We had a lot of fun with him. And then we were followed up by the reign of King George the... What number am I, Daddy? He's that friend that you have to be friends with, but you don't want to be friends with, but you have to be. Because when he was a kid, his dad went over to your dad and said, Hey, your kid close my prep for a little while. He's that friend that at 9 o'clock on Saturday night, everybody's going, God damn, man, we gotta get home, my wife's calling. But you reconvene the party across town to keep it going, but get the fuck away from him. He's that guy. I looked into this man's eyes, I saw the illegitimate offspring of Javi Dooney and a chimpanzee with the IQ to match. When that dude in Iraq threw his shoes in him, I completely expected George to shit in his hand, throw it back like a monkey would. <laughs> then we had Obama, who got elected by speaking of change. Little we realized it's the spare change we're making of which he was speaking. <laughs> We're watching the retardation 
of America. That's what we're watching. I said it, retard. I'm bringing it back. Retard is not for the mentally handicapped. My sister and her husband are special ed teachers. I feel for them. I want to take that from. Maybe makes fun of them needs to be shot on sight. No judge, no jury, just execution. When I say retard, I'm talking about assholes. And when God was passing out brains, they stuck their fingers in their ears and ran around going, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> These assholes are running our country. I've been living in California for eight years. We elected an Austrian bodybuilding actor <laughs> as our governor. And we were shocked it didn't work out. I voted for the porn star, Mary Carey. My government's gonna fuck me, I may as well enjoy it. And find someone who can do it right. That's who we need as president. That's right. I'm a stunner, so I got notes here, people.